Welcome to Minecraft Snapshot 14, Week 2B. This is the first snapshot of 2014, and it has some interesting stuff. I am going to go into survival and jump off this pillar and die, right? Nope. Bounce. That's because they added slime box. <clears throat> Wonderful. As I have demonstrated, they negate all fall damage and bounce you up and down. <clears throat> However, if I went like this, ooh, I would take damage. <clears throat> kind of like a trampoline. And of course, once you once you wind down, you can just step off without having taken any damage. Now, just how high do they bounce you? That's the question. A question. Science. Oops. All right. All right. I didn't do the best job of hitting the blocks, but pretty close. You can see. That each, uh, I broke the block at the very top of each bounce. Since I fell from the top, halfway, halfway, half, half, half. So each time you bounce, you go halfway as high as you fell. Alright. Now, properties. They're bouncy. And you walk slowly on them, like soul sand. <clears throat> However, unlike soul sand, they are a full block tall. Watch the Y coordinate now. 57, 56.85, 875, 57, 56.875. So they slow you down, but they're a full block, even though you can't even tell. With the soul sand. Okay. Now. I think the soul sand is actually a bit faster than these guys. That's what it looks like to me. <clears throat> now. Speed. That's an interesting point. We know that pretty much the fastest way to travel is to sprint in a too high passage on top of ice. So, I have set up a race timer to test out just how fast we can run. Uh, why did I reset that now? <laughs> okay, let's do that again. Okay. As you can see, the ice is very, very, very fast. So the question is, what is the fastest way to travel on a block that lets you bounce? Because... If you run along the surface of these blocks, you get a nice height boost in your bounce. Hmm, maybe not a height boost at all. Hmm. I don't know. It's kind of hard to determine that 
However, does it give you a speed boost is the question. So, I've tested extensively running just straight on down, running down jumping, and running down underneath a ceiling and jumping. So, with a ceiling and jumping is this, uh, the row of blocks on the bottom. I clear winner incredibly fast, followed by just a normal block, in this case, this new block, what's it called? Polished granite. And then the slowest one when running under the ceiling jumping was the new slime block. It actually slows you down when you do that. Now, the second test is running down open, this, this nothing above you, and jumping. And the slime block <clears throat> and ice tied for the win. Uh, I mean, this isn't the most accurate timer. I probably could have built something with more fine uh, measurements to determine exactly who wins, but they're very, very close. Though, I guess over very long distances, one may be a clear winner over the other, and you would need more precise measurements to be sure. However, there is a clear loser, and that's normal blocks. Normal blocks, not quite as fast when it comes to jump running. Then, the final test was to simply sprint down the run without jumping at all. And again, the loser, or no, no, not the loser, the winner, the winner this time was his normal block. Just sprinting straight down normal blocks is the fastest way to sprint along. Closely followed by ice, which, if you're not bouncing on ice, its slippery effect doesn't actually help you, it just slows you down. And, well, running along on slime blocks, it's very slow. Now, one thing I forgot to test is, is it actually... Slower than soul sand. Oh, you know, I can't even test it. This isn't actually on the charts. I put the block here, but the truth is it should probably be way over here. And I, I can't test things that slow. The clock runs through. Again, I could probably build a better measuring instrument than this, but is the best I came up with in the time. So, just sprinting across slime or soul sand, it's way too slow to be measured. <laughs> so, while the slime does give you a bit of a boost when you just run across it and bounce, the Sprint jumping across ice is still the fastest way to travel without horses or mine carts accelerated to crazy speeds. And that is 14 week 2B with slime blocks.